You've been hearing about it for a long time. The right, or the right wing, is racist, fascist, and just pure evil. But, have you ever stopped to think what it actually means to be right wing? Is the media really to be believed when they label so many people with such disparaging titles? What if you found out that you were right wing? What if someone told you what the right really is and what it believes, and you believed those same things? Would you immediately give your head a shake and say, Well, the media and the majority are always right. I simply cannot be right wing anymore. Or would you accept your beliefs and yourself for who you really are? Would you question whether the majority and the media are always actually correct about everything? If your answer is yes, then you might in fact be right wing, and that might not be such a bad thing. First, it's important to understand what makes the right so different from the left. Over on the left, which makes up Canada's Liberal Party and New Democrats and the Democratic Party in the United States, as well as much of the mainstream news media, they believe some fundamental things that the right simply does not believe. On the left, they believe that equality must be created and, in some cases, enforced. The left believes that all individuals must be made equal by the forces of the majority or by the democratically elected government. This is why we hear so much bickering about wealth inequality billionaires holding wealth and about the poor being made poorer by a corrupt system that favors merit over gender, sex, religion, and race. Rather than believe that all individuals should be treated equally under the law, as the right believes, the left believes that people should be made equal through positive discrimination, regulation, and government control. The left believes that certain groups, like white, black, Muslim, gay, and transgendered, should be given special exceptions that make them more equal to the rest of us by lowering certain required standards. This policy is commonly known as affirmative action in the United States. Now let us compare that to what people of a right-wing mindset believe. People on the right believe that equality is unnatural, but that all individuals should be treated equally under the law. People on the right believe that individuals will either fail or succeed based on their own merit, hard work, and ability. This viewpoint is often criticized by the left as racist, bigoted, and intolerant, but it is none of those things. The truth is that most of us on the right reject the ideas of what is being referred to by the media as the alt-right. The truth is, the right believes in individualism instead of the collectivism that is preached by the left. Rather than define people by groups based on race, gender, and class, as the left do, the right defines people by their individual abilities, traits, and merits. Famous right-wing philosopher Ayn Rand once said, Racism is the lowest and most crudely primitive form of collectivism. It is the notion of ascribing moral, social, or political significance to a man's genetic lineage. The truth is that if you believe you should be judged by your own individual character and not your genetic lineage, gender, or creed, you might in fact be right-wing. Being right-wing is about individualism. Being left-wing is about collectivism and group identity. Throughout history, academics and educators have referred to Adolf Hitler as right-wing but it's important to know what the word Nazi actually stood for. Nazi is basically a German acronym for National Socialist Party. Socialism is, in fact, a left-wing ideology based on collectivism and group identity. Socialism is not a right-wing ideology. Hitler himself denounced individualism and capitalism while he rounded up individuals he deemed inferior based on their group identity and threw them into gas chambers. Hitler was a monster, and he identified as a socialist. This is important to remember. Being right-wing doesn't always mean being a Nazi. In fact, according to these facts, being a Nazi should never be equal to being right-wing. Despite what the media tells you, being right-wing means believing in individualism over collectivism. Perhaps that's why they hate it so much. Before you believe what CNN and CBC tell you, Take a few moments to think for yourself. The more you do this, 
the more right-wing you'll become.